uh, just let me know once we've gone live. Just check. We are live on LinkedIn as well. You can see the participants pouring in. We welcome everyone to the first webinar organized by 360TF in association with Quan Nutrition. Keeping in mind that we've all already taken up our New Year resolutions and we want to keep them up. Again, a very warm welcome to everyone present here. We will begin shortly. Request everyone to put down their queries and questions, if any, for Ryan, and we'll take it across uh, towards the end of the webinar during the QA hour. Health is an outfit that looks different on everybody. A uh, very good evening to all present here. I, Saksham Bhargav, on the behalf of entire 360 of family, welcome you to today healthy and thoughtful initiative financing your health. Like we 360 TF are committed to making your company working capital cycle healthier and uh, and trade a uh, healthier reducing trade finance cost by enabling liquidity. This webinar is also committed to making your 2024 and the coming year healthier. I'm sure most of us present here today because this year we pledged to keep our new year resolution little longer than we have thought. At 360TF, we have seen our co-founder being very passionate about fitness and health from posture yoga to having various outdoor activities to motivate all 50 plus employees to stay healthy and fit. It has been a embite in the culture 
of our organization, I can proudly say most of us are a part of a fit fintech initiative. This webinar today in association with the Kua Nutrition shall swap most of us you to feet as you will realize the physical and mental fitness does not require you to take a big decisions. Rather small steps. Being a trade finance expertise organization, we understand the value of having the best at your hands. We decided to associate this award-winning celebrity and make the beginning of your year less worthy of for fitness. Well, thank you, Saksham, for handing over. And I welcome Ryan in this yet another uh, you know, season for us to start our new year with a big bang and with a with such an important topic that we all foresee uh, is, is something that we find it difficult to manage. I'm happy to welcome and honored to introduce Mr. Ryan Fernando to all of you present here. Ryan Fernando is an award-winning celebrity sports nutritionist with two Guinness World Records and two Olympic medals under his belt. His client list includes American Olympic athlete Kenneth Badna, cricketers Virat Kohli, Shikhar Dhawan, and Bollywood superstars Amir Khan, Pardeen Khan, and Abhishek Bachchan, just to name a few. He is founder of Qua Nutrition, Signature Clinics, and Institute Nutrition, a platform for online nutrition education. Ryan is a nutrition and health coach, nutrition genetics counselor, podcaster, speaker, lecturer, radio jockey, author, and the founder of Qua Nutrition Clinics and InstituteNutrition.com. A life member with Nutrition Society of India and a British Commonwealth scholar with two Masters of Science degrees, Food Biotechnology from University of Scytheleed in Scotland, and Clinical Biochemistry from Goa Medical College. He is a certified health coach from USA. Before we hear Ryan, let us all first get to know the resolutions each one of us has made. I request you all to put down your resolutions in the chat box, while of course, Ryan will take up the podium and speak to us and tell us about what he is, what he has planned for us in the best way possible. I welcome you, Ryan, to the floor. Makshi, thank you so much. That was a long introduction. I hope we didn't lose any followers or participants on that. Pankaj, good to always see you. And I feel blessed to be invited to talk to people who uh, rule the financial world. Let me spend half an hour with each one of you to improve your balance sheet in 2024. Uh, you all are finance wizards, gurus, climbing the ladder of how to use money and make money grow for yourself. And when you do this, uh, you use your human intellect, you use your human vibration, you use your human body, you use your human relationship skills. And as an auditor of human health, when I meet people, give me about 30 seconds in a room with each one of you. And I will tell you in 30 seconds, looking at your eyes, your pitch, your tone, your breath, and how you breathe, I will tell you whether your balance sheet is good, bad, or ugly. So I can be called the chartered accountant um, of health. And, and, and that is the terminology that each one of you would answer. So today I hope and pray that you are on this. If you're on LinkedIn and you're joining us, Namaskara, uh, Salam Alaikum, wherever you are in whichever part of the world, uh, Keful Halak, how is life going for you? Um, I live in the city of Bangalore. Uh, and I'm very grateful for the internet and Zoom to allow me to talk to people across the world. I'm also grateful that people give me their time these days in all of this interrupted marketing of Instagram short one minute videos, LinkedIn half a second videos. So I'm hoping to catch your attention from a personalized perspective. So I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to start off with sharing my screen and have my PowerPoint. I hope I'm not going to be too boring. If I'm getting boring, quietly send me a message saying, hey, Ryan Fernando, you're a little bit boring. Uh, the first thing that you can do is you can scan this QR code and you can find me on Instagram. At the end, I'll give you my LinkedIn profile. Um, what qualifies me to talk to you is one, I'm educated in the field of nutrition, health, and medicine. I am not a doctor, but I'm the closest to a person not prescribing you medicine, but using food as your drug. 
using exercise as a pill and using sleep as a soothing balm to get you to the next level. Let's say I want to make you an office Olympian. And the people in these pictures are all superstars. My latest superstar is Anupam Kher. I'm having a ball of a time dealing with this Kashmiri superstar giant of a, of a Bollywood celebrity. Now, many of you who are coming in today may say, but they are celebrities. You are the celebrity of your life. They became celebrities because they chose very early on in their life to become celebrities. I never knew I would become a celebrity nutritionist. I always thought I'll be a nutritionist. But the day I said I'm going to become a celebrity nutritionist a decade ago, I began taking care of two things. The talent or the necessary subject matter expertise, like you as a financial individual, have to become good at your job, at your financial capabilities, people skills. And the second part is how do you get good in your body so people follow you? So if you're a 27-year-old in 360TF, or if you're a vendor, or if you're a partner, or if you're a client who consumes this financial data, when you meet people, you are the celebrity in that introduction. So it's very important how you breathe, how you talk, how you hold your energy in the communication today. So the first takeaway from this slide is I want you to see your picture in this slide. You are the celebrity of your life. You own the balance sheet of your life. If you don't own the balance sheet of your life, you will not know your TRP rating. And your TRP rating is what I'm going to define for you today. So I'm going to talk to you about how we can do some simple things. Okay, I'm not going to give you a diet plan. I cannot give you a diet plan because in my clinic, Qua Nutrition, where I practice, yeah, this logo up over here, we do custom nutrition planning, meaning I take your blood test, I take your genetic test, I take your microbiome, which is your stool or poop analysis. I do a blood test for your omega-3. Then I sit down with you for one hour and I ask you, where do you work? What is your culture? What is your background? Which part of the world are you from? Where have you relocated to? Who's cooking food for you? What are the timings of your office? And then I construct a very personalized nutrition plan. So people ask me, should I drink coffee? I don't know till you do your genetic test. So when I did my genetic test, I love drinking coffee. I used to drink five cups of coffee a day. And then I found out my body, my genetics does not like coffee. In fact, drinking five cups of coffee will give me a heart attack or stroke, which two of my grandfathers did get because they drank too much of coffee. Oh, no, but coffee, I read this internet article. No, 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 no. Do not go with Google. By the way, Google employees come to Ryan Fernando. I want to tell you something. In Bangalore, Google comes to Ryan Fernando for diet planning and diet counseling for their webinars and seminars. There will be a time when AI will be able to integrate this, but still such time, you need to holistically balance your nutrition with small tips. Okay. So first point, 2024, the people that are there in this webinar, you've heard this statement, health is the new wealth. I'll share a story with you. I had a gentleman from the city of Dubai, billionaire, Indian. He says, Ryan, I have 22, whatever you call that, elite vehicles, luxury vehicles. So I said, sir, Rolls Royce? He said, I have eight Rolls Royce. When COVID struck, he's like, you know what? What's the use of the 22 super luxury vehicles which are worth maybe about 100 million dollars what's the what's the point of having all of these vehicles if I, my body is not the rolls royce of my life please understand i work with some of the richest people in the world about half a dozen billionaires with me they come for a nutrition plan because they want to bespoke how they should be eating scientifically then i ask them why do you want to do this they say ryan fernando we can't change our body we can change our house, we can change our jet, we can change our car, we can change our company, we can change our staff, we can change our spouse. You can't change your mother, father and your sibling and your human body. So this is a very nice joke in my house. My wife keeps saying, why do you keep telling people in seminar you, you can change your spouse? It's true. 
You can change everything except your human body. So what are you doing? Why are you behaving that you need a school principal in 2024 where there's enough of knowledge for you to get your backside off a couch and start putting down written resolutions like you do in your job. You go to work because a boss is tracking you. You go to work because you're an entrepreneur. You go to work because you have a top line, you have a bottom line and you have to perform. You go to work and give the best that you can from this body because you feel that's the right thing to do. What about your body? What about your health? Is it not the new wealth? So can you tell me what have you written? Can you tell me what have you written down as a philosophy in 2024? Pick one point. My one point is I want to gain four kgs of muscle this year. I'm going to find it very difficult at the age of 48 to gain four kgs of muscle because as you grow older in the male, you lose testosterone. If you're a female, you lose testosterone, you lose estrogen. So we're all gaining only fat. But what is it that I need to do? So when I write down a quantifiable goal to my health, don't say, I want to live nice. I want to have good body. I want to have nice hair. I want to lose weight. Do not use qualitative goals. You are all finance executives. Use quantifiable goals. I want to reduce BP. No, 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 no. I want to reduce my BP by five points. I want to reduce my blood sugar by 60 points. But hang on, Ryan Fernando. I don't even know my sugar level. Ah, you don't know your sugar level in 2024. How dumb can we get now? Artificial intelligence, the new watches are even tracking BP and sweat. What are we doing? Oh, how many dollars, how much transition, how much arbitrage, how much all of that stuff. You are all gurus on that. But when it comes to the guru of your body, you're putting it under the rug. So I want you to first make a resolution for yourself. Like how I met Pankaj many years ago, he made a resolution. He said, Ryan Fernando, how can I make my body younger? At 48 years of age, that's my age. My metabolic age is 33. So I'm now going to give you incentive to start taking care of your health. I had a client, Mr. Vishnu Pai, who was 72 years of age. And when he stood on my weighing scale in my clinic, which measures body age, visceral fat, muscle percentage, and health, uh, the, the fat percentage, his body age was 73. So he's one year older. He worked with me for one year. We dropped 11 kgs of fat off his 100 kg frame. We dropped only 1 kg of muscle. His body age went from 72 to 60 on my weighing scale. 60 years of age. His, his birth certificate age was still 72. In fact, a year later, he became 73. But now on my weighing scale, he's 60 years of age. His son sent me a big gift hamper. Massive gift hamper. The biggest dry fruit hamper I've ever seen in my life. It must have been worth some 40, 50,000 rupees. It's like, Ryan, sir, thank you very much. You made me very rich, man. It's like... Uh, sir, I don't understand. No, no, no. See, Papa, whom you worked with, Papa makes consultancy fee of 2 crore rupees a year. 2 crore rupees a year. For those of you who are foreigners over here, that's uh, 2 crores is how much? Uh, Pankaj, help me out at this. No, 2 crores in dollars is how much? It'll be about a... $250,000. About a quarter of a million dollars. Okay. So, so he's earning about a quarter of a million dollars a year. So son is super excited. Because my papa now thinks he's 60 years of age. Do the math. 12 years of consultancy, feeling wonderful. My health is so good. It's my wealth. 12 years into a quarter million dollars. I suddenly made $4 million just taking care of my health. Please understand, ladies and gentlemen, you are the real estate vector. You are the investment vehicle. You are the creator of your wealth. But unless your body is vibrating at the best possible frequency, case in example, Mr. Rakesh Junjunwala, may his soul rest in peace, was a very rich man. And I'm sure he would give half of his wealth to be alive today. I feel his family and friends would give all of his wealth to have him around. So there are two people here who need to influence you. Yourself and your family. But if you have to influence your family, like I told Mr. Pankaj, he has to first take care of his health before he influences his spouse, 
his children and his employees and now he's bringing it to you his consumers colleagues and uh, fellow employees so it's not that hr or this is like oh we want you to take care of your health because it's the fashionable thing to do if it is the fashionable thing to do then take off your shirt when you go for a beach vacation to goa but if it's not fashionable and you want to live till 75 80 walking disney world with your grandchildren lifting weights in the gym whilst half of your team can't keep pace with you i have a 27 year old team also pankaj average age half of them can't keep pace with me i go five six seminars in the day they are like ah <gasps> sir how are you able to talk for so long because it's what you do how you sleep i got 8 hours of sleep yesterday how many of you in today's seminar got 8 hours of sleep i care ganta hoots what everyone says you need to make money and if you do not have 8 hours of sleep i will show you blood test data that cortisol is killing you silently you will die 15 years younger and if you're earning 1 million dollars a year your family's lost 15 million dollars but jokes apart jokes apart i want to be passionate about motivating you just to start not on a diet plan start with checkups start with small small things start with just writing i am weighing 79 kg i should be 70 kg can i lose 1 kg per quarter not even 1 kg per month 1 kg per quarter once you start putting targeted those of you who run businesses understand the importance of target this year i told my ceo i want to become a million dollar company how can you get me to become a million dollar company that's the target so we are now thinking what all do we need to do to reach to that level it's not easy to get so many people doing diet plan why am i sharing this with you i'm sharing this with you is quantifiable goals in anything that you do will result in some action plan what is the action plan the first action plan i told you about the rolls royce this is a this is a statement i'm going to get out of the way this is a statement pankaj can you do me a favor can you read this aloud for me yeah your body is the most expensive real estate you will ever own do you agree with me 100% right so even himakshi is nodding her head over there think about it now i'm going to ask you a very provocative very provocative question do you live in your body as a tenant or as a landlord do you live in your body as a tenant or a landlord answer this question truthfully to yourself and if you write landlord we have started your journey if you start as tenant i need to evict you from your body i need to throw you out i need you to make you rebuy your into your body as a new deal so we'll have pankaj write down a new agreement i promise 360 tf this year to enable my body to be rebought what are the investments i have to do drink 6 liters of 4 liters of water i need to wear uh, in a bmi of 22 okay what is the action plan for that i need to get 8 hours of sleep what is the action plan for that one action plan disconnect netflix you know i went for christmas holiday and i said i'm going to relax for 5 days i went on to netflix i became a zombie because i suddenly started sleeping 4 hours because i binged watch and i don't know if i'm right or wrong but please check netflix ceo once said you could google this up and check if it's true or not and tell me if i'm wrong netflix ceo once said we are in a battle with sleep your body is the most expensive real estate all of us live in it as chaprasis chaprasis is an indian term which is meaning uh, tune tenant so i'm i'm trying to convince the world the day you understand that you are the most valuable asset and you believe in self love and you believe in taking care of yourself you will start saying what can i do to stop being lazy and living like a tenant in my body so i'm hoping out of the 60 or 100 people that are here in this seminar today i am just hoping that one of you decides to make the change saying that you know what i'm going to write down a few goals i'm going to start behaving like a tenant and don't worry if you fail to pay the bills in a few months 
but start like 365 days in the year can you get 8 hours of sleep but Ryan, I did only 100 days. I'll be like, yeah, you got 100 days of 8 hours of sleep. Balance 7 hours. And maybe in balance 100 days, you got 5 to 6 hours. My point is, once you start tracking, the next year, oh, 2024, I got 100 days of 8 hours sleep. This year, I'm going to get 120 days. You improve your body year on year. I want to share something with you. Uh, if you if you look at this, uh, if you if I have to go this way, if you look at this whole list over here, right? Can you see over here the fat cell? Yeah. Yes. It, Himachi, yes. Uh, Pankaj, how many years does fat cells re reside in the human body? Eight years. Eight years. And can you look at maybe the uh, the lung cell or the stomach cell? Stomach cell is the third from the top. Uh, two to nine days. Right? So your stomach cells is two to nine days of eat, khao, pio, jo bhi kaya dhara, full thappat de do and all. But after all of that thappat and all, fat comes and says, hey, bhai, hum charbi hai. I'm tera dost hai. I'm your friend. I am fat. I'm going to sit in your hips and your bum and your waist and everything. And then it says, bhai, me tera saath jodi kar diya. Abhi me tera tenant hu. Aap mere ko evict nahi kar sakta. You can't take me out of your body. You can't you can't serve me an eviction notice for eight years. Himakshi now is thinking, oh my God, if I eat another batata vada in 2024, that batata vada is going to stay as me as a tenant. So I am trying to convince people to understand that as you gain weight in your working career, you keep saying, I'll do it next year. I'll do it next year. I'll do it in the next job. I'll do it in the next business. Oh, that guy, once it's inside of you, is, is for eight years. I understood this, fortunately, because I'm in this business of the balance sheet about 20 years ago. So hence, I keep my weight in check, which means that's why my body age is 33. Because when I stand on the weighing scale, I have a body fat percentage of 18%. And that's the age of a 33, a percentage of a 33-year-old. But a person who's 48 should have 29% body fat. So once you begin to understand these constructs, by the way, uh, what is not listed over here is muscle cells. Muscle cells lie with you for 14 years. So if you can change your muscle cells and build muscle, especially women, I'm recommending, or my wife just gone for weight training right now. So most important thing. Okay, so we were talking about fat and eight years in the body. Now we need to do 10,000 steps for maintenance. Walk and talk, walk and talk, walk and talk. I'm actually here in the seminar and I'm dancing around. Most of you are sitting down. So now I've got a few thousand steps. Yeah. Okay. Buy a walking desk. Take your best friend for a walk. Take your dog for a walk. Right. Let's, let's have a meeting. So Pankaj, whenever you meet with your leadership team and all of this stuff, hey, bye, sab log, achau. let's go for a walk. Because as you begin to move, you even put more blood circulation in your head. Now, the reason we are gaining weight, the reason we are gaining weight is because we are a DJ society. DJ means desk jockey. Hello? Hello? Is my signal working? I'm a desk jockey. Hello? That's all. That's all is the movement. Sit in your car, drive to the supermarket, go there, come back to the nearest parking lot near to the to the to the shopping gate, then drive to the basement of my house and go up the lift. And I do this, you do this, all of us do it. So we have to construct physical movement. Okay. The other thing, which is a secret, and I'm not a very good expert, but I go to a breath coach. And what I've understood is we are all shallow breathers. If you can breathe five seconds in slow breath, five second hold and five second out. Apparently, this lowers your parasympathetic systems, adrenal and, and, and anxiety. And when that comes down, you store lesser fat. So here's a secret that I've given all my billion dollar clients. After every phone call, 
after every meeting after every webinar after every, any interaction with anyone take 25 seconds out for your breath and you go like this now i'm holding and if you look at your exercise variable your heart rate is just dropped by 3 point if you could do three such breaths so 25 into into 3 seconds sorry sorry my math is very bad chi 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 5 5 5 is 15 seconds 15 seconds i see i've i've made your life even more easier 15 seconds by the way there are people who can do 10 second breath hold my yoga instructor does 22 seconds so 22 seconds in slow breath in slow hold for 20 seconds and out but for most people you and me aam aadmi just jockey let's do 5 in 5 hold 5 out now people like me are gurus of wisdom of nutrition and health and wellness we give you this i'll tell you where people fail people fail to practice because there is no guru at their desk telling them what to do so what can you do there are nice apps on apple and android which are known as breath apps download one breath app put it on your desktop and make it a point if your hr can convince you to take a breath work every day this will help you if your hr can convince you to take 10000 steps or stand at your desk and do something please do this this is the first part of my diet plan सर ये खाओ वो खाओ ये अरे भाई खाने के चीज ये पहला कर दो सांस लेने का है और पैदल से चलो दिस इज द फर्स्ट बेसिक स्टाफ राइट एंड एंड व्हाट हैपेंस इज इफ यू डू दिस करेक्टली आई जस्ट ईट क्रिसमस प्लम केक नाइस बिग पीस बिकॉज आई नो आई एम गोइंग टू वर्क आउट आई नो आई एम गोइंग टू ईट वेल फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ द डे बट आई एम गोइंग टू एंजॉय दैट प्लम केक गिल्ट फ्री एज अ लैंड लॉर्ड इन माई बॉडी although my blood test might say much differently next month when i do it like hey ryan your sugar has gone up but i'll keep you posted on that so nutrition now is bio individual this concept is ryan sir can i eat mari biscuit can i have tea can i have coffee can i have dood can i have milk in fact the other day i was in, in a podcast and the guys like sir do you take any stance on any food and i said nay sir i am a judge i am a judge on my right side is the defendant on my left side is the prosecutor in between is papaya my candidate stands in front of me and the candidate says sir should i eat papaya so i ask the defense attorney what do you feel papaya is very good in beta carotene it's very good in fiber it has got astaxanthin in it it's got uh, b uh, blah 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 vitamin a which is high in it other side the prosecutor No, sir. This is a pregnant lady. Papaya could be abortive in effect. You can't give papaya to the other. So now, as judge, I have to pass execution judgment on my client, and I say, considering all the inputs that I've got, I deem papaya fit for you. But for the other person, no papaya for that person. Nutrition is very bio individual. Please understand, you have been taught to eat out of love and culture from dadi ma, from mama. from the people in your house my mother till today says hey you bloody big shot nutritionist you eat your bread you are a goan i've written a book called wheatless i stopped eating wheat 10 years ago nobody ever told me i had adult acne till i was 35 nobody ever told me and then when i did my genetic testing that guy says saab aap itna low ka genetic test ka testing kar rahe you are doing so many people we will do yours free of cost i was like okay okay please do it they did my genetic test hello ryan fernando goan should not eat bread you know goans are called pawalas right we eat bread as breakfast lunch and dinner so look at it culturally i was taught i had a i had a jat haryani who had a cow shed and 60 cows and i told them that the kid was lactose intolerant hey ye doctor saab pagal hai last 20 generations you have been drinking milk but genetically the the science is now evolving how to eat scientifically so i'm just saying that what you could start with is a blood test a genetic test and a microbiome test these are some very fascinating pieces of advice because then when you go on vacation you're looking at everyone eating bread and then you're like would you like to try this sourdough bread it's gluten low no 
call up the chef before I reach. Hello, Ryan Fernando. I need gluten free bread. Yes, sir. We are making gluten free bread for you. Few things on nutrition that I'd like to convey to you. You can add sprouts and microgreens to your charts, to your pohas, to your snack. Microgreens or sprouts are amazing. Two issues: nobody likes the taste. Nobody has the time to prepare it. Solution for no time to prepare for it: go to your startups in Dubai or in Bangalore, wherever, who are making the microgreens. Buy it for them. Get a subscription. Second point: you know how you have to do SIPs, systematic investment plan. You want to you want to keep that money and spend it on a vacation to Switzerland or whatever. But something inside of you says, keep keep aside little money. Keep aside little. It's painful. So is sometimes eating food that is healthy. And by the way, if you add a little bit of vinegar, a little bit of chaat masala, a little bit of tamarind, a little bit of masala, it actually tastes good. Adding besan to roti flour, reduce your grain of carbohydrate, increase your protein in your roti. Add curry leaves to your dals and sabzis. Add moringa leaves. Dalchini cinnamon. I don't know if you know this. Actually, is a fat burner. There was a study saying when people ate quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, be careful. You get mouth ulcers. It's very heaty. But for those of you dalchini or cinnamon that agrees with you, it reduces belly fat over a three-month period. So what I do is add it to tea or coffee, green tea, green coffee. Sunflower pumpkin seeds very good for brain health, very good for muscles. And Pankaj, there are a lot of cranky people in your office. And nee ka nee ka, wo na ye sab kya sochta hai all the time. You know, you know those those complaint pots as I call them. Every time they complain, just give them a gift of pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds. It helps the brain work very well. They've got a they've got a nutritional deficiency. That's why they're always complaining. The body inside is telling them something, and then that reflects in their personality. Trust me, I meet people in thirty minutes, thirty seconds to one minute. I can tell you how they are vibrating. Using dates, raisins, berries instead of sugars for sweetness and porridges and pancakes. I know now a lot of people don't do porridges, but you know when you when you're too busy, you'll have like a bowl of cereal or a bowl of porridge or a smoothie. Smoothie is another version of a porridge, or pancakes. Pancakes is our Indian style is dosa, uh, or uh, the other way is a chapati. You can put in some of these dates, raisins, and berries because of the antioxidant powers, and their sweetness is better than putting jaggery or sugar any day. By the way, when you buy uh, dates, raisins, berries, all of these things, one thing that I've started doing five years ago is I buy organic food. If you come to my house, you will see those fruit flies roaming around. I don't know if you remember in your dadi ma's house, they used to have that basket they used to put over all the food because all these flies and kidas used to be around. Today, when you go to anyone's house, there's no fly or kida. Why? Because they're spraying the crop. Day before yesterday, a uh, politician, farmer. Came for a diet counseling. He owns fifty acres of pomegranate farm. So I was like, "Sir, pomegranate is super, super pomegranate. Sir, the seeds of pomegranate, if you eat it for one year, hundred grams of pomegranate, it clears up the blocks in your arteries." This is a scientific paper. The pharmaceutical industry doesn't want you to know about this paper. Sixty percent reduction in plaque formation. Sixty percent reduction. Anybody is a heart patient. Pomegranate, pomegranate, pom. He says, sir, if you know how much of fungicide we spray on the crop, you will not give uh, pomegranate to your um, clients. My housekeeping lady Mona, sir, you bring pomegranate. Leke aate hai. बहुत सुंदर नहीं सर. Market में इतना सुंदर वाला आश्वर्य राय pomegranate मिलता है. और तुम घटिया वाला pomegranate लेके आते हैं. कीड़ा जल्दी आता है. वो खड्डा है इसके ऊपर है हाँ मैडम लेकिन ये जो मेरा खड्डा वाला पोमोग्रेनेट और खीड़ा वाला पोमोग्रेनेट ये ऑर्गेनिक है सर लेकिन सुंदर नहीं दिखता है हैव यू नोटिस्ड ऑर्गेनिक फूड इज नॉट परफेक्ट स्पॉइल्स वेरी क्विकली यू विल गेट वर्म्स एंड लावे इन इट वेरी फास्ट बिकॉज अ केमिकल इज नॉट स्प्रेड सो दैट गाय इज देर विच फॉर मी आई सी अ लावे आई डोंट गो ए हम ले कूल ही इज ग्रोइंग इन साइड विच मीन्स इट सेफ इनफ फॉर मी टू ईट flip flip in chemical organic uh, to to organic practices this is what i wanted to convey to you and then what happens is you reduce your chemical load on your liver and kidney for the next 20 30 years of your life if there's nothing you take away from this seminar take away the fact that if you can eat organic now i know all the indians over here what let's say bhai how do we know they are not cheating us 
I think we need to believe in a lot of people out there. If you still don't believe, do what I do. I make friends with people. I make friends with people. So I buy happy hens in Bangalore. I made friends with the founder Manjunath. Hey Manjunath, how you make these eggs? So he told me the whole story how they do poultry farming and all. He says, see what we do, we go and find twenty villages. We tell all the villages, we will help you in farming. Let your chickens roam free in the farms. We will give Ayurveda, Brahmi, this, fol folate, this, that, omega three in the feed and everything. We'll give Ayurvedic. We'll give natural. Blah blah blah. So I know that his eggs are much better. I can see it is much better. I know his eggs spoil faster also because they are organic. So when am I going with this? Make friends. You are the landlord in your body. You have to go and buy saman for your house, right? How many of you own your own house? I recently bought the house that I'm standing in right now. So when I went to change one of the windows, I happily went to the shop. Boy, konsa kitki hai? Sir, Italian kit, Italian glass hai, African glass hai, Chinese glass hai, or uh, Bangalore ka glass hai. I'm like, sabse best glass konsa hai? सर ये इटालियन ग्लास बहुत अच्छा है लेकिन हमारा क्लाइमेट में उतना अच्छा नहीं था okay. सबसे बेस्ट वाला सर यू टेक चाइनीज हे नो 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 आई वांट आई डोंट वांट चाइनीज चाइनीज आई डोंट वांट आई एम वेरी पैट्रियोटिक व्हाई वुड आई गो एंड मेक अ डिसीजन मेकिंग व्हेन अ कॉन्ट्रैक्टर शुड बी डूइंग दैट बिकॉज़ इट्स माय हाउस सो व्हाट आर यू डूइंग अबाउट योर हाउस वेयर इज योर न्यू इयर्स रेजोल्यूशन वेयर इज यू टेकिंग केयर ऑफ यू You know, I have people spending twenty-five thousand bucks on a bottle of whiskey, and when they ask, when I ask them to buy glacial mineral water, sir, ninety rupees for one bottle of water, what, sir? So then people sheepishly ask me, sir, does really Virat Kohli drink eight hundred rupees mineral water? I'm like, of course he does, because he doesn't drink Johnny Walker, no. Sorry, I'm not supposed to take names and all of the brands and all, but you get where I'm going, right? You will spend nicely on liquid engineering alcohol, which is drugifying and destroying your liver and kidney, but for pure alkaline water, glacial water, Ganga jal, oh, Kemalaya se aare, ne. Everyone, please take a sip of water. We're sixty percent water. Imagine if sixty percent of your portfolio was in gold. Where would you be today? Would you buy um, asset class of uh, equity or gold, where gold is giving the highest return? So you guys will do all of these case study analysis on financial instruments. You know, आपके शरीर के अंदर घंटा वाला analysis. First one, change your water, go organic. Brilliant. This is my diet plan tips. Okay, easy tip to follow. Do not eat three hours before going to bed. Sir, I came back. This Pankaj fellow kept me in the office for so long till ten o'clock at night. Now I have reached home just now at eleven o'clock. Now I have to eat food and go to sleep. Don't eat food. Drink one glass of water. Say, Pankaj sir, Jai Shri Krishna, and drink your water. Finished. Go to sleep. The human race is eating too much of food. Do you agree with me? Think of our ancestors, Pankaj. Your grand, great grandfather and my great grandfather who lived, let's say, one thousand years ago, in ke pas fridge tha. इनके पास सुपरमार्केट था इनके पास जोमैटो स्विगी उबर उट्स उबर ईट्स था कुछ नहीं था दे एट फूड विच वॉज ग्रोन इन दैट हंड्रेड किलोमीटर रेडियस दैट सिट इफ यूर अ बादशाह यू एट एन हंड्रेड किलोमीटर रेडियस इफ यूर अ पोर मैन यू एट वन किलोमीटर रेडियस सो वी अज्यूम टू बी हैव टॉट माई बोथ माई इन लॉज आर मेडिकल डॉक्टर्स There was a massive argument when they were here for Christmas because their daughter doesn't eat breakfast. Father knows an orthopedic surgeon. तुम क्या nutritionist है? मेरा बेटी breakfast नहीं खा रहे. I'm like your daughter has not had an asthma attack in 15 years of marriage. She's married to me, not a single asthma attack. Have you seen her health? She doesn't go to the hospital. आप लोग सब दाई दवाई मेडिसिन सब कुछ दे रहे हर मैंने हॉस्पिटल जा रहे मेरे साथ शादी कर दिया सी हर वेट शी इज इन द बेस्ट शेप ऑफ द लाइफ शी लिव्स द हेवियस्ट शी इज द सेक्सीस्ट लुकिंग दैट्स व्हाट शी सेज एट लीस्ट एट फोर्टी एट इयर्स ऑफ एज वेज माय पॉइंट ऑन दिस शी इज फिगर्ड आउट शी डजेंट वॉन्ट टू ईट ब्रेकफस्ट बिकॉज शी डजेंट फील गुड आई एम नॉट सेंग यू शुड और शुड नॉट ईट ब्रेकफस्ट आई ईट ब्रेकफस्ट आई एम सेंग डिस्कवर योर कपैसिटी टू ईट डोंट ईट 
बिकॉज अरे यार डिनर मिस हो गया मेरे को कुछ खाने का Ask yourself, are you feeling hungry? If you skip a meal, you're not going to die. Research has shown fasting for thirty hours actually rejuvenates the body. Our ancient ancestor did Shravan fast, Purnima fast, this fast, that fast, Lent, Ramadan, everything. There is there logically documented that fasting worked. And you know why they did fasting? Because they knew humans were too weak to give up food on their own, so they need a spiritual direction. i'm giving you a functional direction there was a nobel prize won on autophagy where the japanese medical doctor said that at 30 to 60 hours of fasting all cancer cells and all fat cells in the body implode so when people come to me why do you think the best in the world come to me like this ryan fernando is a crazy fellow yaar but dai uske paas diet plan ke liye gaya aur kuch nahi diya kuch kuch nahi diya kyunki human race is eating too much think about it and if you want to talk about climate change you want to talk about climate change you my friends and me my friends are eating more than we actually require so the growing of that crop or the consumption of that crop and if you're a non vegetarian the tripling or the quadrupling of the carbon footprint on animal produce that goes into your system where you could have survived with only 50 grams You've eaten two hundred and fifty grams. Pot full of biryani, brilliant biryani in Bangalore. One biryani for one person. I have calculated it feeds three people as desk jockeys. Ha! Huh? If Pankaj, you are a slave and you are doing manual labor in the field and all, then you need the full biryani. So don't eat three hours before going to bed. So try and get your dinner within one hour of sunset. Six thirty-seven, sir. I'm still in the office. Oh, order one sandwich. Eat in the office. Finished. Over. Done, sir. When I reach home, I'm very tired. I'm watching Netflix. I want to eat something. Drink water. You are not a tenant in your body. You are a landlord. If your stomach says, "Boy, book hai kuch de do," तुम क्या करते हैं? Hello, boy. Pizza bech do. Stomach बोलता है thumbs up, thumbs up. Tenant, tenant mentality. अरे थोड़ फोड़ करो यार हम इसके शरीर के अंदर नहीं जिएगा विल चेंज इट आफ्टर टेन इयर्स आफ्टर टेन इयर्स यू गो टू डॉक्टर डॉक्टर से यू कैन चेंज योर स्टमक यू कैन चेंज योर एसिडिटी यू कैन चेंज योर लिवर यू कैन चेंज योर किडनी यू कैन चेंज योर जॉइंट प्रॉब्लम यू कैन चेंज योर हार्ट अटैक प्रॉब्लम यू कैन चेंज योर ब्रेन प्रॉब्लम एल्जाइमर ऑल ऑफ दीज आर रिलेटेड टू न्यूट्रिशन यू नो द इंस्टाग्राम इज नाउ ब्लोइंग अप वी वर डूइंग दिस इन टू थाउजेंड एंड टेन we were telling people with structured advice what to do now you're hearing this on the instagram and we are actually finding patients on their own doing this stuff intermittent fasting not eating you know 3 hours before sunset and stuff like that know your heart rate during workout lot of people are dying of heart attack so what oh i am landlord in my body yeah come on let's work out i am james bond i got to show off to the chick in the gym i'm 45 years of age i got to push more bench press i never went to the gym for the last 10 years go easy everyone post vaccination we have all had higher inflammatory markers the world has gotten more stressful more advanced so you want to run the rat race so you run on a treadmill very fast when you go to the gym my sincere advice to you is do what i do i smile in the gym and i enjoy it trainer says sir sir next rep are bye give me 5 minutes man let me enjoy it i've turned up in the gym no my 40 minutes workout is my peaceful time why because of the inflammatory markers people are more prone to heart attacks go slow and steady after one or two years of being james bond in the gym slow and steady then up your level so that's why i recommend wear an exercise variable when you work out do not cross 140 150 heart rate in the gym if you're a novice pankaj you have a tea coffee machine in your office yes we do have i'm going to save you some money okay whatever you save you send to me as a new year's gift next year if you drink one cup of coffee or tea with milk 100 ml milk 2 teaspoon sugar himakshi if you drink two cups of tea or milk himakshi i'm i'm not picking on you you're the only person i can see in the seminar today okay forgive me for this but himakshi if you drink two cups of milk and tea so white milk with sugar 
in the full year on one cup you're consuming 27 liters of milk if you drink two cups of tea or coffee you're consuming 55 liters of milk 55 right over here i've been very nice i've said you need to walk for 59 days of one hour walk to burn only those cup one cup of coffee so many of you will say yes the 59 hours of walking is equivalent to three kgs of weight gain a year and the two cups of coffee is equivalent to about 5.5 kgs of weight gain in a year. Now you want to know why when you join call, left college and joined the workplace, you put on weight. It's because you drink too much of milk tea and milk coffee. Solution, black tea, black coffee, drink plain water. The human race is eating too much, drinking too much. Simple water. Black tea, zero calorie, zero calorie, no weight gain in the year. No, sir, but it doesn't taste very good and all that stuff. I'm used to having coffee. I'm too stressed out. Okay, a little bit of caffeine over here, a little bit of black coffee. Sir, it doesn't taste very good. You are landlord or you are tenant in your body? Taste bud is the owner or you are the owner? Food for thought. These are small changes that result in macroscopic weight loss. Small changes, just on tea, coffee. Pankaj, print out this slide, no? Put it in front of the tea, coffee machine. I did this in a Fortune 500 company. The HR came back to me and said, there was complaint from staff. Why are you taking away our tea or coffee? We didn't take away the tea or coffee. We put this poster up. So the consumption, according to them, dropped by a whopping 65% in one month. Everyone shifted to green tea, black tea. So awareness allows you to get to the next level. When you travel and you go different parts of the world, what, what could you do? Eat a healthy snack before you leave home. Drink a lot of water before your meal. When you go out to restaurants, choose steam, grill, roasted options. Share it with a colleague. So you split it down. Don't do fried potatoes. Do uh, so like, can you get a steak or something like that? Say, hey, can you give me instead of potatoes, could you give me vegetables, sauteed vegetables? Always start with a soup or a salad. Research has shown that this glycemic index spike, the sugar spike, is actually lower if you start with a salad or a soup. I've worn one of those CGM devices last year. It's absolutely true. So you eat all your gas poos, all your salad, all your vegetables first, and then eat your grain last, protein second. Uh, choose tomato based sauces over creamy sauces. That would be a good option. So my copody, my brain is made up of 60% fat. Pankaj, this is very interesting. Okay. If you want to build a billion dollar organization, the health of your employee is directly proportional to the brain that they incubate. And the brain is made up of 60% of fat. Unfortunately, Sergi, the fat in our diet is the bad fat. That goes and reconstructs the brain over a 10-year period. So this 27-year-old young team, by the time they said 37, Kanta. Seriously, I have actually changed leadership teams over two years. I've done a pinprick test, check the omega-3 levels. Boss, your omega-3 levels in the gutter. Then we started supplementing with flaxseed. We started supplementing with chia seed. We started eating more walnut and we added two fish oil capsules or two vegan algae omega capsules per day. A year later, we checked again. The levels had gone up. People on a verbal basis reported back to me how good they felt in the brain, how deep their sleep became, how less suicidal they felt. I had four people come up to me saying we had like suicidal tendencies, leave my job, shoot my boss. <laughs> I hope nobody wants to shoot you, Pankaj. But if you want safety, don't get more security. Get more omega-3 in everyone's diet. And 50% of this brain is made up of omega-3. You know, my wife says I'm very insensitive. Koi mar jata hai na, kud kushi karta hai. They do suicide. I'm like, aray yaar, dekho yaar, ye to pagal admi hai, suicide kar diya yaar. He, he did not eat correctly. My wife's like, how can you be so insensitive? There is documented research from American prisons on violence and suicide. 
they actually took two prison blocks in Brazil or America, somewhere in Australia. I remember reading the scientific paper. So they fed them omega-3 and removed the bad fats and uh, a multivitamin. Another block, they didn't do anything. The incidences of violence came down by over 55%. Incidences of suicidal tendency dropped almost 90%. So when I see employees sad in an organization, maybe it's the stimulus of the people around them, but what if it's biological? What if the fault is that you're not eating correctly? What is it if the fault is that you do not know that your grandmother and grandfather did the wrong Jodi and brought into your family an omega-3 deficient gene? Ah, this is 2024. So stop spending your money on buying a stupid iPhone that costs one and a half lakh rupees and spend some money on your bloody blood test and your genetic test and your uh, health. Because you're going to change that iPhone. You'll be able to buy a new iPhone, but you won't be able to change your brain. And then when you're 60 years old, ah, mere paas baut wealth hai. I retired from Pankaj's company. I'm good. And then doctor says, sorry, sir, 50% of your brain is gone. Now you have to stick uh, uh, Parkinson's and Alzheimer's medication. All because you did not take care of your health in your 20s, 30s and 40s. Okay, I need to move faster because I've uh, got four more slides. Okay, this is what you need to do, okay? All restaurants use palm oil globally. Palm oil is Dalda. Palm oil is neutral in flavor, which is globally why it's preferred by all restaurants. Palm oil has high level of arachidonic acids, which blocks your arteries. People say, hey, why is India getting so many heart attacks? You want to do one thing, Pankaj? Google up the palm oil import over the last 10 years. Google up how nobody noticed two years ago, the finance minister dropped the import duty on palm oil because during the pandemic, the farmers couldn't grow enough of natural groundnut and uh, all of these other oils. So there was a deficiency of oil to keep markets held correctly for the common man for oil. Grain and oil is the most important not to go up, drop the import duty. So palm oil would come in, palm oil flooded the market. Wow, great. Boom. Nobody has talked about this. As a guy who studied at I am Ahmedabad, I don't advertise that a lot. I read the budget. And I was like, whoa. Whilst it's great for the economy and for the poor, we're killing people. So I put this together. So Pankaj, you and I decided, hey, Ryan Fernando, let's start a restaurant in Dubai. I'm like, yes, Pankaj, sir, we'll start a restaurant in Dubai. He would do the balance sheet. Sir, we'll use Dalda, sir. Hey, Dalda, what man? It's 125 rupees and all. I am nutritionist. We have to use organic cow ghee. Hey, 580 rupees, boss. The omelette will cost uh, 500 dirhams. Nobody will buy. So this is the reason why heart attacks are happening. Because we're eating more outside food. When I was young, I ate out once a month because I didn't have the money. Today, I eat out five times a week because I have the money and I have the resources to click an app to get it to my office. And yeah, when you want to enjoy it, what do you do, Pankaj? Your team's like, sir, sir, bar jayega na, restaurant kuch khayega. Are you take them for a hiking trip instead of a meal? Tell Ryan Fernando said so. Eating should be the last thing. The human race is eating too much. So do all of these blood tests. I'll be happy to share all of this with anybody anywhere across the world to change your lives. We have been instrumental in changing about 18,000 lives in the last 13 years of Qua Nutrition being in practice. I have a team of 80 dietitians, and our job is to just get you to take the data and start changing the way you eat. So these are small things, sunset, Try and look at the sun when it sets in the evening. I miss the sunset today. It's gloomy in Bangalore. No blue light from your TVs or from your mobile phones. Try and sleep at the same time every day. Try and sleep at the same time every day. Try and sleep at the same time every day. No, the signal did not break. I said it three times. Trust me on this. Your body will thank you. 
you want to lose weight start sleeping at the same time every day sir what is got sleeping at the same time every day losing 1 kg fat do it for one year and come back next year if you have not lost weight i'll give you permission to give me one slap supplement for those who have a problem on sleeping you can do 3 mg of melatonin okay your room should be between 19 to 21 degrees celsius for the best possible sleep to sleep better chamomile tea ladies for your ovarian prevention of cancer husbands please make your wife a cup of chamomile tea every night chamomile for men is very good for muscle soreness and gives you deep sleep pistas 10 numbers at 6 pm walnut two numbers at 6 pm kiwi if you agree with kiwi kiwi is also a great sleep inducer i use a special magnet in my bed for biohacking i use white noise i use music which has bioutinal beats this ladies and gentlemen is when you start behaving correctly and do 6 months of proper diet planning and proper exercise planning and blood test then i will tell you what all of these hacks you can do you do all of these hacks and don't correct your nutrition don't correct your water don't correct your sleep is all useless it's like it's like that uh, rip off ferrari in dubai where guys put a ferrari sticker on his toyota thinking he's driving a ferrari okay so uh, i'm going to make this presentation available to all of you uh, if you do go to my instagram profile in the link in the bio if you click see nutrition secrets you will go to a form called the health checkup or you can actually click this link over here if i send the presentation to you and um, is there a way i can send it to all the participants right now i think i can share the chat box i'm yes. just going to send it on the chat box to the panelist uh, you can send it to everyone as well i can send it to everyone no it's allowing me to only host and panelist nevertheless i'll send you the link you can yes. you can forward it to everyone so if they want to book any one of these things wherever they are in the world even if we don't have a partner in that part of the world we'll guide you on what you can do and my nutritionist team will help you out i'm almost come to the end where we will take um, uh, we will take questions um you can reach me at this number 97434300 i've written two books eating secrets of champion and weightless and if you click on my picture over here if you get the presentation it'll take you to my linkedin profile secret to all of you over here i'm more liable to check my linkedin messages as compared to my instagram instagram i have a whole team managing it but uh, those of you who want to reach out to me i'm uh, very connected on linkedin most of the time and i think that is my last slide yeah that's my last slide so shall we do questions yes yes we will and uh... just before uh, we begin with all the questions i would like i i see pankaj is uh, all set with his first question probably so pankaj over to you uh, if you have anything to to add thanks ryan thank you so much once again uh, we remain grateful to you to come and join and guide our team and uh, client and our well wishers in the first week of january uh, despite your busy schedule Uh, but really thankful to you uh quite a good take away for me of course i've been uh, following through your team uh, uh you know a couple of things on a daily basis but a few more take away for me today especially sleeping on time uh, whether it's 6 or 8 hours that's a different discussion but at least we can start sleeping on time yeah uh coming very quickly uh you know in the interest of time i am you know the recently again that came from bangalore from mr narayan murthy when he quoted that one must work for 70 hours and when we hear youth complaining about work uh, and uh, you know work and health or work life balance what's your take on the command which uh, mr narayan murthy have made about that youth should uh, work more and uh, work no work life balance is not uh, a discussion should for them yeah i'm sure you heard of that when yes yes i did i did i did i was asked this question once before and uh, there are two parts to this okay i ask every youngster would if given a chance would you go and try and win an olympic medal and most people say yes you are olympians in the workplace your gold medal is the bank balance you accumulate every year i was the youngest business head uh, in a pharmaceutical south indian marwadi firm 
at the age of 31. The next youngest business head was 61. They only took old people. The reason I became the youngest business head is because I worked very hard. Did I ignore my health? Absolutely, yes, I did. So now I am on the other side of the coin as a health coach. So I tell the youngsters, work intelligently smart, use AI, use your technology, be disciplined. Don't get distracted by social media at work. So be productive for four hours or five hours. The balance time when you go away home, five hours, six hours at home, get that one hour of workout, get that uh, nutrition at work in the morning before you go to work. And when you come back from the work, bang on, sleep as much as possible, breathe in your car. So when you do all of these hacks, assume you want to hit 70 hours, what is 70 hours? So, so those of you who work five days a week, it means you have to cross 13 hours a day which is quite tough. But if you work six days a week, a little bit easier. If you work seven days a week, quite easy. Seven tens are 70, 10 hours a day. Now, as an entrepreneur, earlier I was an employee as an entrepreneur. I will tell you the pros and cons of being an entrepreneur. The cons of being an entrepreneur is there's no clock in and clock out. You are married to your business. You're married to your employees. You're married to always working because it is your other baby. But if you're an employee, it is not your baby. But my advice to everybody is, if you want a larger pile of the share of profit, it comes in your salaries and bonuses, then you need to work for that. It's a reward system. It's a capitalistic system. In the process of doing this, 70 hours, if you do the calculation, eight hours, 12 eights are 72. You got 72 hours for sleep. 70 hours for working. So the balance is how you manage that extracurricular time. And in this 10 hours of working, you eat well, you eat really well, you eat expensive, and you make sure you negotiate with your boss that you can go for a 45 minute workout during your lunch break. Or you get a chance to leave at five o'clock, go work out and come back to the office and work again. Or you leave your office late at nine o'clock in the evening workout, but that's a bad idea because I told you not to eat three hours before going to sleep. So then you need to contact me and how we can rejig the whole thing. And, and men should work out in fasted state, which means the best time for men to work out is morning. As soon as you wake up, go work out, shower, get to work. Women should work out in fasted state, which is all the women I would advise a workout um, around three o'clock in the afternoon. You have an early lunch at 12 o'clock and work out at three o'clock. So these are my recommendations to people um, and the choice is personal. Evolution has made people uh, to, to be the warriors in the tribe. So you'll run and go to the next village and plunder. Then there'll be the 30% of the tribe, which is they'll see what the leader is doing and follow the leader. And then there's 30% of the tribe that will sit and buy. I'm not going to go to war today. So evolution has made some of us to be go-getters, some of us to sit in the middle of the pie, and some of us to be completely laid back. Figure out which one you are. There's no harm in it. And if you're the guy who's going to be like sitting down and like, yeah, you guys do all the work, open up a beach shack and go and run a business from there. That's the best thing you could do. Thanks, man. Thank you so much. You know, uh, it's, uh, you know, very, very useful. I think your message is clear and I will see definitely if uh, we could have some option of gymming during uh, just after the lunch hours or in the lunch break. As a very quickly, second one, you know, and we've been hearing about a lot about intermittent fasting. What quickly you like to share, you know, what is the right way of executing intermittent fasting if that works? You did spoke about the, you know, religious, you know, what we have, you know, this uh, fasting and otherwise, but intermittent fasting has been growing. I mean, I've been, people have been using this. What's your suggestions to our listeners? Very, very simple. There are two ways to do intermittent fasting. Either you're a morning person or you're a night person. If you're a morning person and you love your breakfast, eat early. Then eat very early your dinner. Finish your dinner at five o'clock. If you're an evening person, then eat your breakfast at 12.31 and eat your last meal at eight o'clock. This is the best way to eat intermittent fasting. The novice intermittent faster can do eight hours of eating window, meaning... 
I'll eat my breakfast at 10 o'clock. So 10 to 6 o'clock is 8 hours or do 12 to 8 o'clock, which is 8 hours. This is the novice. The intermediary guys are 6 hours. Eat your breakfast at 6 o'clock, uh, 12 o'clock and finish your dinner by 6 o'clock. The, the pros are the guys who eat at 2 o'clock, one meal and eat another meal at 6 o'clock and then they're done. I think this is the best way to do intermittent fasting. The scientific way also is to put a CGM glucose monitor on you for the heck of it and figure out when you eat, how do you get sugar spikes? So I recently did a client and we found out that her morning fasting created more sugar spikes. So we shifted her entire eating to the morning half. And so her only problem was after five o'clock, I feel like eating because all my life I ate. So we came up with solutions which distracted her where she just drank specialized herbal teas or water. And within nine to 10 days, she completely changed her eating cycle. Now, what's her biggest problem? When she goes out with friends, they are all saying, let's go to this restaurant. She's saying, let's go for a movie. I don't want to eat. Let's go shopping, but I don't want to eat. And if they say we're going to eat, she has a cup of green tea along with them. So I think intermittent fasting is a thumbs up. If you're overweight, if you've got cholesterol, diabetes, or hypertension, I'm sorry, BP hypertension, same thing, or any brain fog or digestive problems, then please consult a medical nutritionist. My, my team are medical nutritionists. We will do it scientifically for you so that you don't harm your body. Thanks. One of the, I will just pick up uh, while we had a few questions. But let me go to the audience. One of the audience have asked that what precautions should I take as I just finished cancer treatment? Okay, so this is important. We have an oncology division in our company. And the, the benchmark is they are, depending on male or female. In female, most of the cancers are driven by estrogen or progesterone from breast cancer, ovarian point of view. So there are certain foods you should eat and certain foods you should not eat. If you're related to cancer with blood cancer, digestive system cancer, which is any of the organs of the human body, then we have to look at what is the treatment that was given to you. And when you have come out of cancer, this is my solution. Number one, do a food allergy intolerance test from Germany. That will tell you which are the foods which will do kujli in your body. Remove those foods. Second, do a DNA genetic test for your nutrition. So you'll get the genetic viewpoint of how to see the nutritional deficiencies in your body. And then accordingly construct. Third, do a poop, a stool, a potty sample DNA analysis called the microbiome analysis. Now, this will give you a bird's eye view of how your microbes digest the food, love certain foods, hate certain foods. So when you put all of this together, now you're eating very scientifically as a choice of foods. And then that's the first one. Then the second one is how much should this person who just suffered from cancer now eat? So step on a weighing scale. What is your muscle? What is your fat? Oh, this person requires 1200 calories a day. Now we know that when you feed cancer with sugar, the cancer tumor grows. So if this person has come out of cancer treatment. Assuming that we've got all the cancer tumors, we now know that this person probably was feeding too much of sugar to the cancer tumors. So now the second decision is, do I give more calories than required by this person or lesser? And when I give calories, the percentage of fat, carbohydrate and protein is accordingly decided for that individual based on genetics and body weight and cancer treatment. So, as I always say, I'm the judge. I cannot pass execution of judgment on what are the right things to do. But I do know that foods that are rich in polyphenols, flavonoids, anthocyanins, so these are the greens, the purples, and all of that stuff are really good. Now, I will share something with you. I recently had a breast cancer lady, and I told my dad, give her resveratrol. Resveratrol is found in grapes. And Fortunately, by the grace of God, I have an amazing team and an amazing software. So when we put everything together, it came back. There was a study that resveratrol for estrogen positive women actually promotes breast tissue tumor growth. Ah. So even celebrity nutritionist Ryan Fernando knows fuddu. 
इट्स लाइक सेइंग नो पंकज सम गाय कम्स अरे यार इसमें इंडिया में ये ये स्टॉक मार्केट ये लगा हुआ एवरीवन इज अ फाइनेंशियल एक्सपर्ट एवरीवन इज अ न्यूट्रिशनिस्ट सो व्हेन वी कम टू मेडिकल कंडीशंस इट्स अ केस बेसिस एनालिसिस वेयर फूड इज अ थेरेप्यूटिक ड्रग सो इन माय इंटरेस्ट to improve anti aging recovery to this lady and because she was a marathon runner my first line of thought was high antioxidants which is the best guy acai berry so acai berry passed through but resveratrol didn't pass through this is why people with cancer have to work with a medical dietitian and not wing it fortunately for me the latest doctors at sloan in uh, the cancer treatment center of america are now all working with medical dietitians in india slowly they have started coming to us but the normal thing is are yaar kuch bhi kha sakte hai do you know that most of your cancers have come because of your diet or your environment so food for thought that's why i say go organic reduce the chemical exposure uh, reduce your stress breathe better take a chill pill okay thanks another one from our one of our colleague you know which is actually inspire everyone in our office kunjan kunjan kapadia and he she, said grow more muscle <laughs> yeah that's a resolution she has asked uh, later a question what vitamins supplements are essential for vegetarians or women in their 20s 30s 40s and 50s so i built neutralite in india which is the largest food supplement brand i used to work for them and we would prescribe supplements to all i am a distributor take 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 fast forward 25 years i now have my own nutrition clinic and i do the testing and you don't need a multivitamin unless you have a nutritional deficiency so step 1 do the complete vitamin and mineral blood test once a year if money is not an issue do it twice a year if any vitamin or mineral is deficient pick up the phone call up ryan fernando i will help prescribe from my team what you should do from a food plan first assume you have low vitamin b9 are bhai thoda pistachio kaal 10 pistachio kaal 6 months later test has it gone up or take a stand alone vitamin b9 alternate days what doctors do they give you a prescription for 30 days take for 30 days but do you have a genetic receptor that is not absorbing vitamin b9 and therefore you need a life long management of vitamin b9 so a girl taking a vitamin or mineral actually is not a standardized practice in my opinion i come back to the bio individuality you are going to remember me 10 years later are ryan fernando said bio individuality there is going to be an apple iphone bloody you put your finger on it it will take out a blood sample and tell you sir ji today you sir ma'am ji today you have low vitamin b9 please eat more of this bio individuality so taking a multivitamin if you want to take a multivitamin on your own prescription the safest thing i don't advise it but the safest way is do it twice a week saturday sunday take a multivitamin with your breakfast sir why should why don't i take seven days a week you could overdose your body is smart enough to know that this is a chemical it's not coming from food so whenever you take a multivitamin take it with your food so that vitamin c and that zinc and all is like hey bhai you eat uh, nice uh, baked beans no i'm going along with the baked beans into the body so that would be uh, the thing uh am i anti supplement no i'm not anti supplement i'm actually pro supplement but i'm not pro supplement when every person on the planet thinks that they are a nutritionist because then i can sit down and argue with you saying that you're actually harming your body we had this incident where this lady took ayurvedic um herbals and um so she came to us and her hemoglobin dropped in 2 3 months it was 12.8 then it dropped to 9.6 so i asked her all the question did you have dengue did you have malaria did you have all that so nothing nothing and liver was showing very bad parameters so like, what are you taking she says no my ayurvedic doctor gave me something i said go meet a hematologist and please tell him you have liver poisoning she didn't believe me she went to that guy that guy did some extra tests and all says they found out heavy lead content in her so she assumed that ashwagandha very good for brain health see now ashwagandha is okay but the compounding of ashwagandha by that ayurvedic manufacturer in traditional practice of ayurveda was to roll the medicine with heavy metals so when people say do you believe in ayurveda of course i believe in ayurveda the same way 
my grandfather rode a cycle i believe in riding a cycle but i also have a luxury vehicle let's advance to 2014 where prescription of nutrition prescription of superfoods prescription of supplements should be the mainstay so learn more about it and look at the end of the day stop experimenting with your body you have only one rolls royce this is like pankaj driving rolls royce gives him a brand manual says boss don't off road this car on the dubai desert ah huh? pankaj is like are yaar we will drive this in the dubai desert next day he takes it to the mechanic sir apne kya kiya left ball bearing is gone of the rolls royce you went off roading you broke it you're born and he can buy another rolls royce then but what i'm trying to communicate to you is your body can't be changed so in the yeah. interest of not breaking your body in 20s 30s and 40s eat healthy eat organic do a blood test of vitamins and minerals if anything is low get in touch with baba ryan great so, uh, one, yeah yeah so one of yeah. our attendee has asked uh, how to get some nutrition in when someone has eating disorder like uh, recommendation for any food items so eating disorder is a psychological issue plaguing a lot of our teenage girls these days uh, because of the image problems uh, because uh, and and just to share with all the parents in this group and all mostly with girls because they are image conscious and even though their weight may be overweight or i have had girls who are 38 kg thinking they are overweight so it is a psychological problem for which i work with a psychiatrist on my team number 1 so please do not think you can self help your child get medical intervention number 2 no matter what you say which food is good or bad or ugly that child if they psychologically do not work on the mental part of anorexia or bulimia which are the medical conditions or the eating disorder conditions will never consume even what you say scientifically i've had a girl who used to come she used to drink 1 and 1/2 liter of water before walking into my clinic just so that she'd weigh 1 and 1/2 kg more and my team asked me sir how did you find out i was like dude before i went i went to the toilet i went and stood outside my office and i'm looking at the car down and i can see this chick sitting in the car and drinking water so i just asked her casually how much water did you drink no i just had a sip of water so i i I said okay wait here I went down and I spoke to the driver like no she drank two she asked me to buy two bottles of water and she finished two bottles of water so anorexia and eating disorders are a very complex psychological model first i can give you the best foods on the planet a date or guava a calorie dense dry fruit laddu but would that kid want to eat that is the question so we do have three people on our team Lydia, Ritu, and Suhasni, who are psychological eating disorder specialists. I do not. I don't do that. Um, I'm not being able to convince because I am very logical. I'm like, dude, you're skinny. Your BM is wrong. Please eat. I'm like landlord or tenant. I don't have like I'll cajole you to come out of your uh, tenant into landlord model. So with children, we need a little bit of finesse. Uh, it is a long process. uh and we need to give them a lot of confidence building measures like they are beautiful they are wonderful as children many of these children the fault is the parents huh by the way parents you guys have eaten wrong and all of you are 27 to 35 if you're smoking and drinking and deciding to have an accidental pregnancy i'll punch you in your bloody nose because you'll have only one kid so if you decide to have a kid don't drink don't consume alcohol and eat correctly so your sperm and your egg is absolute perfection so that soul that is roaming around in the dunya that comes into your sperm and egg fusion is a perfect soul thing are bhai ye to rolls royce ka sperm aur rolls royce ka egg jodi ho gaya the problem today with all our diseases psychological problems and xxyz i just look at the parents dude you screwed up you screwed up at work you ate wrong you did not sleep enough you smoked too much you had too much alcohol take it from a guy who has seen thousands of cases autism down syndrome <sighs> children with deformity sometimes i i just like i'm just so grateful to god that i have a normal kid and my kid is dyslexic he can't spell properly he gets 2 on 25 in hindi i'm like shabash beta 2 on 25 you got one mark more than last time children are special they are born to us 
so please when you become a parent you decide to become a parent don't have an accidental pregnancy have a planned pregnancy sorry pankaj i get very passionate about this topic because i see the future with people who are 70 who come to me and if i ask them what would you do if you went back when you're 25 the first thing people say take care of my health learn more in my job make more money when i'm younger because as i get older i don't have the health or bandwidth capacity to go to that level so these are small small things that i would say to everyone listening in today I agree the two last question one is from vijay soni from saudi arabia vitamin d3 and b12 deficiency is common issue with most veggies in gulf so this is not only in gulf this is the entire indian genomic race has a vitamin b12 and d even i have a vitamin d deficiency so what i'm doing is i'm testing twice a year all my vitamins and minerals and i know after about 6 or 7 testings that i have to take vitamin d twice a month 60000 i u to keep my levels at 40 to 50 don't try and be bottom of the class in your vitamin d and b12 levels don't try and be 218 in b12 and don't try and be 30 in vitamin d try and be at 50 levels 50 nanograms levels in vitamin d and try and be at around 300 to 400 all vegetarians will not get b12 in their diet you need to take a nutritional supplement for that take a sublingual which you put on your mouth it is called uh, not methyl cobalamin it's called uh, it's not called cyanocobalamin it's called methyl cobalamin vitamin b12 methyl cobalamin level section do you have anything yeah uh, we have a one quick question from chanchal a uh, individual resident in the pgs are unable to prepare their own meals so what should they consume to maintain their health very very good question this is most of my team so what i tell them see pgs we get very very basic food very basic and that pg is like all restaurant owners huh? they will not use olive oil and all they'll use cheap dalda cheap ration rice everything is cheap so first things first those who live in pgs when you order out don't order biryani from a local cheaper restaurant order a good healthy meal when you're eating out if it's 3 4 times a week number 1 number 2 when you go to work stop at the local supermarket or order online from the organic stores carrot cucumber tomato keep it in a tiffin box carry it to work cut a carrot make friends with the housekeeping my housekeeping loves me every month i give a 500 rupees i'm like mary every day 11 o'clock one guava so i pay for the guava i pay for the carrot and the tomato but i pay her 500 rupees to cut it specially for me and give it to me so all of you earn enough yaar pay the housekeeping domestic staff to get you that healthy cut salad cut fruit at your desk look at dry fruit laddu because of the uh, thing or do what i used to do i used to keep some pistas and almonds and walnut and i used to pack it in ziploc bags and make five of them and keep it in my office so every day i would eat pumpkin seeds sunflower seeds something so that's another way to get nutrition do a blood test vitamins and minerals if anything is low take a multivitamin twice a week for those of you who are skinny like me you could buy a protein shake without sweetener in it and mix it in an almond or coconut milk or normal milk if you're not allergic to milk other point that you should do is once a week make sure that the one meal you cook yourself or go to a friend's house and cook and all the ladies and all the mothers if there are any women watching this seminar you have no idea the power of your touch research has shown that food water vibrates at a real frequency when i serve my kid i pray dear lord bless this food i'm giving it to my son i didn't even prepare it but i'm praying to the angels and the creators of the universe and i'm saying make this food energetic today we can't measure it but mark my words in the next 100 years we will be able to measure the quantum energy signature coming off food who has grown it who has harvested it who has carried it who has sold it to you who has cut it who has prepared it and who has served it to you all of this will add to the energy coming to you and if you don't know anything of this before you eat ladies and gentlemen do what i do i pray over my food for 10 seconds thank you dear lord 
thank you creator thank you bhagwan thank you allah thank you vishnu thank you shiva for this food in front of me bless the people that gave it to me bless the people that provide me the ability to eat this food dear food as you enter my body please heal my calf muscles today because karate sir broke my calf muscles dear dear food also heal my brain i had too much of a session with 360 tf today so my brain is gone full beja fry so please rejuvenate my brain thank you start eating it's very important this is one way pg people can change the energy signature of your food i know i sound like a quack guru or something like that you have nothing lose to lose to just try this out uh, next we have one interesting question like uh, how to avoid the midnight cravings if you have midnight cravings most likely your b12 and vitamin d and hemoglobin is low so when people have midnight cravings cravings is the human evolution of the body saying ki bhai tune mere ko kuch nahi diya नहीं मैंने खाना खाया लेकिन हमारा खाना तो इसके अंदर मिनरल्स कम है सो इट्स मोस्ट लाइकली यू हैव अ विटामिन और मिनरल डेफिशिएंसी सो व्हाट आई वुड डू इज आई वुड ऐड सोडा स्पार्कलिंग वाटर विद इलेक्ट्रोलाइट्स और सॉल्ट इन इट विद लेमन इन इट इन द इवनिंग्स आई वुड टेक अ मैग्नीशियम सप्लीमेंट एट नाइट आई वुड ड्रिंक कैमोमाइल टी and then eat two large pieces or half a credit size of 100% dark cocoa chocolate and tell me in 3 months if your sugar cravings do not disappear if they do not disappear you have a insulin problem or sugar problem and you're moving towards diabetes so then you need to do an hba1c blood test a uh, fasting glucose blood test or homa score and an insulin fasting level when i look at all of this i will tell you if you're moving in the direction of becoming a diabetic and we can see it a decade in advance i can see it 10 years in advance that you're going to become a diabetic with the blood test so then i tell you this information then you're like okay pastry at night no rain sir said eat two pistachios two walnuts two almonds just eat that drink water go to sleep and you have midnight cravings because you're not supposed to be awake at midnight You're supposed to go to sleep at eight o'clock, and no, 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 sir. How can you can go to sleep? Array, we created electricity, you know. But evolution was last two hundred thousand years in Homo Homo sapien. But electricity is only last hundred years. Our grandmothers and grandfathers created so many children because they had no Netflix, no. They had to entertain each other. So by the time the sun went down, what you do? Put the children to sleep, and then you banged each other. Think about it. We should be bed. in bed by 10 o'clock please everyone go to sleep early stop watching netflix netflix is controllable you could watch it early morning on your way to work right uh, i'll just take up two more questions one posted by pankaj but just before that uh, this is a query by most of the women out there and we've received this as a question uh, you know while we were doing these registrations during my periods of menstrual cycle i experience vomiting and food doesn't digest well what should be the ideal food to eat i have had this condition before where women don't feel like eating during their menstruation and this comes from evolution a lot of women see women there are different types of women okay women are created for birthing a lot of children women are uh, there to take care of the birthed children but do not produce children and there are women who are warriors so and this is evolution point of view so what i believe is that when a person cannot eat there are underlying conditions of maybe pcod or thyroid so there is a hormonal fluctuation and it affects the gut microbiome the bacteria in the gut who say stop don't give me anything i don't want to digest any food now in such a condition we rechange the entire weight of a woman over a 6 month one year period how she eats for nutritional deficiencies magnesium deficiency iodine deficiency thyroid deficiency then we put in foods like red clover tea give her a vitamin e evion during the 5 days before the start of her menstruation cycle shift over to foods like in ayurveda which we call as low heat foods cucumber microgreens a salad maybe a little bit of curd rice pomegranate and rice not heavy food and as i said before a human lady if she is not planning to have a pregnancy can go 3 days without food just have electrolytes and water and put some amount of food to prevent acidity burn could be a banana could be a guava so you can even have fruits during the period you don't need to do dal chawal roti because your ancestors taught you to eat dal chawal roti at breakfast lunch dinner 
the only issue comes is the woman is anemic, has low ferritin, and has low body weight, then this advice that I just gave is defunct. Then I would request this said person to meet a medical dietitian who works on what we call as menstruation cycle issues and try and figure out what is the best eating pattern, what is the best superfood pattern, and what is the best uh, supplement that in case. In fact, there's something known as seed cycling. There are certain dry fruits and seeds that are given in the first 14 days of the menstruation cycle and then certain type of dry fruits are eaten in the next 14 days of the menstruation cycle. It's called seed cycling for menstruation. You can Google this up. It's actively available on the internet and you can do your own jugad. But if money is not an issue, please hire a dietitian and work with the dietitian like a financial advisor. Last question, and I apologize that we're we paucity of time and we don't want Ryan to be holding back for So you can, of course, email your questions. I've sent the IDs where you can email. Uh, the last question for the evening is uh, from Saudi Arabia. Mr. Chandra Sekar and Jaya Raman has asked how to avoid thyroid uh, through food habits for a person who is age of 25. So first of all, if a person has thyroid at the age of 25, the TSH, which is the thyroid stimulating hormone, is dependent on 10 nutritive molecules, which is inclusive of protein, vitamin B12, vitamin C, magnesium, selenium, chromium, zinc, and a host of other things. I can't remember all 10. So when you eat correctly, this goes to the pituitary and says, hey, bye, TSH, banalo. Now, when there's a nutritional deficient, TSH is, hey, bye, nahi bana sakta hai. So thyroid is like, boy, hey, thyroid stimulating hormone, come stimulate me, produce thyroid. Are yaar, wo to admi to humko nutrition nahi diya. I'm not talking about being gundu or fat or in muscle. No, no, no. I'm talking about micronutrition. So the first things first is to look at the micronutrition blood test. Second is to look if this person has a family history of thyroid problem where thyroid can be genetically also having an issue. And I've had many cases where I have to take people off milk and gluten and their thyroid has improved. So look at removing gluten from wheat, barley and dry. Look at removing lactose or milk for a period of six months. Improve your nutrition. Take a multivitamin thrice a week after doing a blood test. Meet a nutritionist or dietitian. This should work. In terms of the foods that slap the thyroid, in the old school, we had something known as goitrogenic foods, which are foods like cauliflower, strawberries, spinach, uh, ragi, which did, or, or millets, which did not agree with the thyroid. And hence, they are avoided. So, Please meet with a dietitian at Kwa Nutrition Clinics. It, it costs 16,500 rupees for a three-month plan uh, at the Kwa Nutrition Clinics where you can do all of these things and blood tests and then get a new diet plan every month and then experiment with that. And, and hopefully at the age of 25, we can actually reverse any thyroid issues because people should get thyroid only at 50 or 60, not at 25. If it's at 25, there's, there's a nutritional deficiency diet problem. Right. Uh, thank you, Ryan. That was that was really interesting. Thank you for all the tips. And uh, I, I can tell you, Ryan, from last year's time, we, we did have our office flooded with chamomile tea uh, just after your web webinar. And uh, I, you know, that's that's something that we did as as uh, as you know, a practice. You know, Himakshi, the thing is, there are all gurus and experts out there. But going from the level of knowledge awareness or spiritual following to practicing it in daily life requires community effort. So I'm really happy that it started in your offices and places and this financial community because uh, look at running in some parts of the world. It's literally a craze, right? So if you go to like Amsterdam and all, everyone cycles, everyone right. walks, right? It is a community ideology. So I believe that the financial guys are some of the most astute visionaries, actuaries. They're able to see based on data. So if you as a team, if you as a team start with 10, 15 people, 20 people, it creates a movement. I've been doing this for 15 years. And maybe I have a fan, fan falling of about 1 lakh people. But the thought process, Himanshi, is if we can get chamomile tea in the office, if we can get 10,000 steps, if you can do all of these small, small things, changes, diet plan comes secondary, exercise plan comes secondary. First, make these changes. 
Right. And and we also did the implementation, I think for the last uh, six months in office, everybody walks after lunch and we do, uh, you know, a few steps uh, that we that we definitely do. Uh, we also have small, small competitions going on amongst the team members about how many steps each one did, did for a particular day. So that's something that keeps us inspiring. And thank you for inspiring us. Uh, I'll probably put it across to uh, Saksham for the last thank you note. Yeah, thank you, Makshi. Uh, in closing, I just want to extend my heartfelt gratitude to each uh, and every one of you being part of today's insightful webinar, Financing Your Wealth. Uh, 360 TM is not just about the trade finance expertise. It's uh, about a forecasting and holistic culture that uh, embraces your significance of physical mental well-being. The Fit FinTech Initiative is a testament to your commitment to, to promising a healthier and a happier workforce. I extend my sincere thanks to QR Notations for their valuable insights and the guidance. Remember, health is not about the making the grand gestures. It's about the small, constant and steps to take each day. Let's uh, take a lesson from today's uh, webinar, inspire positive changes in your life. And uh, May 2024 be a year where we not uh, only met our professional goals, but also surpass our personal health as well. So uh, here's a healthier and more uh, year ahead and each member of 360 DF family. Thank you. Thank you once again. And stay committed to, to your health and well-being. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you once again. You. And uh, we definitely see you next year. See you next year, guys. With more God, improvements. God bless. God bless. Yes. God bless. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.